Well, Brandon came up with it. It's called Our Mutual Friend. Beer is the mutual friend in a lot of relationships that I've formed in my life and I figured it was a fitting name. I am Brian Lavelle and I'm the brewer at Our Mutual Friend. I'm Brandon Prof and I am a co-owner with Brian here and the uh, operations guy Both Brian and Andrew met and homebrewed before I met them, and then I met each of them at different house parties, and we hit it off talking about brewing. So it just kind of made sense. And then we found out after the fact that it was a Charles Dickens novel. We each have a, you know, a 25% role in like some amount of operations here, and then yeah. we all own it together. So. Both of us are uh, musicians, and when uh, we would be off of tour or whatnot, we took up home brewing because it kills time, and, and it's fun also to drink beer that you've made yourself. So I've been I've been home brewing for about five five or six years. What we have now is we're roasting, which would be it's like after you malt, you roast, and that gives the beer all its different flavors, like that stout. So like the difference between this brown and this stout is all about how you roast the grains. And so even to that note, we're the only brewery that's roasting all of their own grains in house. I feel like when that is where my beer starts and that's what I really love to do is roast. Once I started roasting grains, like I, it was like, I felt like, like I, I don't know, like, like like beer god, not like not because I was so awesome, but just because I felt like I could do whatever the hell I wanted, and I'm in complete control of everything, and that felt awesome. And so that's why you know. So I got into it because of that, and I stuck with it because I love the culture behind it. I love the idea that every time I make beer, I'm doing something that humans have been doing for thousands of years, and it just connects me back to like what we've been doing as a species, making freaking beer everywhere like in the whole world and you know and then that's really what drove me to move back and start malting and roasting myself too you know when, when everyone's trying to be the craziest brewery in town you know where do you go from there you know the fun thing is you know we, we can make our own ingredients and uh and instead of having to be in this market of who has the craziest beer, we can kind of be the guy sitting back and saying, well, hey man, our beers are three and a half to 6% and you know, there, there's nothing super crazy about them, but that roastiness, that, that fresh malt is just, it's a, it's a new, it's, it's, it's a different tasting flavor. It's a kind of a community supported thing. We're a neighborhood brewery we would love people from all around the world to come here and, and try out what we're doing, but when it all comes down to it, we're really wanting to serve the people that'll be here regularly, and, and so that's where the main appeal is, because we're right in the middle of it. Yeah. And there's so many really incredible entrepreneurs that are stepping out of the comfort zone of just working at desk job, and they're uh, wanting to do the thing that interests them full time which I think is a perfect place for us because that's the end goal for us is we just want to make an honest living making beer and hanging out with our friends <laughs>